In a more perfect world, we would be limiting the amount of waste by investing in a reusable water bottle, by choosing a glass over a bottled water. So we're here with Josh from Knoxville, Tennessee, asking about the Tennessee Clean Water Network. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Josh? Sure. We're a 501c3 nonprofit headquartered in Knoxville, Tennessee. And essentially, there's 60,000 miles of water in Tennessee, and we work to protect all of it. Uh, we do that through legislation and litigation and essentially keeping our finger on the pulse of water quality issues uh, throughout the state of Tennessee. And we're specifically here at Bonnaroo today to talk about a program called Bringing Tap Back. Uh, this is to install water bottle refill stations and drinking fountains across the state. First off, to get folks away from sugary sweetened beverages that increase diabetes and obesity rates. But from a water quality standpoint, removing one of the biggest pieces of pollution in our waterways in Tennessee, and that's plastic bottles like bottled water, sports drinks, and sodas. That's fantastic. So what do you uh, hope to accomplish here at Bonnaroo? We really just want to get our message out. We want folks to take advantage of using the water bottle refill stations that are here in Manchester and on the Bonnaroo Fairgrounds. And we want to make sure that folks know about our mission to protect clean water throughout the region and to get folks to really steer clear of sugary sweetened beverages and packaged drinks in their regular lives and here at the festival. That's really fantastic. Really love what you're doing. And so in an ideal world, how would our society consume water, the life force that keeps us all alive? That's a great question, and the way to go about it is simply making sure that we are reusing before we choose to recycle. Uh, it's, recycling is a really wonderful thing, but there's a reason that it's the third R. It's, reduce is the best thing that you could do. Reuse is the second best thing you could do. And then recycling is the least that you should be able to do. In a more perfect world, we would be limiting the amount of waste by investing in a reusable water bottle, by choosing a glass over a bottled water. Um, not using straws when you go out to eat, instead just drinking from a cup and washing that cup later. Uh, that would lead to a more sustainable world and I can't emphasize enough just how much using your classic drinking fountain cuts down on waste in your community. That's awesome and I see that you've got these fantastic uh fairy wings going on, so you want to explain to us a little bit about your uniform here? That's right. Well, we're a very whimsical organization. We like to embrace the fantastical in what we do. It's not always fun uh, having to do a job that revolves around cleaning up trash and suing polluters, so we try to add as much color to it as we can. Um, one of my favorite slogans of the Bring and Tap Back program is bottled water kills unicorns. As you know, unicorns are a very pollution sensitive creature, and yeah, we're trying to, trying to bring those back along with the narwhal. And uh, hopefully the cleaner our water is, the more unicorn sightings we'll have in Tennessee in the future.